Crafts in the Park, brought to you virtually from Florence Peterson Park. My name is Jasmine and I am the Summer Program Coordinator at the Whistler Museum. We bring you Crafts in the Park in partnership with the Whistler Public Library. Each week we will be posting a craft video that includes some insight into Whistler's history. A list of craft supplies will be posted before each video. You can also register with the library to receive a craft package with all of the supplies you'll need for each week. Thank you for joining us today for this week's craft, where we'll be making trains. Before we begin, the Whistler Museum would like to share some history about trains in Whistler. Before the Pacific Great Eastern Railway cut its way through Whistler, the journey from Vancouver used to take three days. Travelers would first take a boat from Vancouver to Squamish on the first day, then hike the rest of the way to Alta Lake over the next two days. All that changed with the introduction of the Pacific Great Eastern Railway, known as PGE. There had been talk of building a railway from Vancouver to Pemberton in 1891, but it wasn't until October 11, 1914, the railway officially opened for service. The first station built in Whistler was called Mons Station, after the Battle of Mons in World War I, which took place the same day construction reached the station in August 1914. As the area grew, the station was renamed Alta Lake Station, to avoid any confused passengers. Even with the new railway, travelers still took a while to get to Whistler. The introduction of the PGE only shortened the journey to around 10 hours, but it was a welcome change from the two-day hike. The PGE would make many stops along the way too, picking up passengers, refilling the steam engines with water, or to let passengers explore and rest in Squamish. Faster trains ran in the summers from 1915 to 1920 to transport fishermen on day trips to Rainbow Lodge, just as fishing began to take off at Alta Lake. The PGE and Rainbow Lodge also ended up becoming partners, offering the train ride and lunches to guests for $2. The introduction of the Pacific Great Eastern Railway helped to jumpstart Alta Lake and bring some of the first tourists to Whistler. Without it, Whistler would not be the same today. Now let's move on and make our trains. Start by coloring in your train. Add anything you'd like. Cut out your train next. Color in your windows too if you haven't already. Cut the toilet paper roll in half for the wheels. Then cut a slit at the top to attach to the body of the train. Slide the wheels on from each end of the train. If you're having trouble, you may want to cut the slits bigger. Add the stuffing for the steam and anything else you'd like and you're done. Thank you for joining us this week for Crafts from the Park. Join us again next week for our final craft.